There's a saying that one belongs to New York City as much in five minutes as they do in five years. I've been in New York for 15 years, and as much as I belong, the city never ceases to surprise me. My name is Wally Obishan. I am a senior designer at Stonehill Taylor, and I was the lead designer on the Hilton Motto Chelsea. We've worked with Indie Walls in the past, and we knew that for this project that they would hit it out of the park. They really understood our vision and were a big part in the success of the hotel. My name is Zoe Zook. Uh, I am the curator responsible for working on the artwork package along with Stonehill Taylor for the 24th Street Hotel Motto by Hilton in Chelsea, New York. This hotel is located on 24th Street in Chelsea and 7th Avenue, so the idea of 24-7 was really brought home both by the location and the artwork. So this whole idea of 24-7, this concept of time, and we also just like this number of 24. We came up with what were called 24-isms as a design motif. The first one is being time. There's 24 hours in a day. Contrasting of lights and darks, being inspired by the sun and the moon with lots of spherical shapes. So the pill motif on the second floor lounge, we love the vibrancy of the colors and the art, but also that it was very rectilinear in shapes, which is a nice play on all of the round shapes that we have throughout the space. It's also a tongue-in-cheek reference to the 24-7 lifestyle of the New Yorker. My favorite piece that speaks to the narrative about time is the series by Diego Kufer. It's called his Transient Series. In these pieces you see members of society walking or running or rushing to wherever their destination is. At the same time, there are all these wonderful lateral and diagonal lines that give the piece a little bit of order. Second leg of the concept is 24 karat gold. For the connecting doors, we thought it would be cool to take this sort of 24 karat gold New York City skyline and cut it in half so that when the doors are in the open position, you can see the full skyline. So the third leg of the concept is what we're calling 24-bit color, which is a term used in print production, and it's color printed in its truest form. So you'll notice moments throughout the space of multicolored, saturated jewel tones. For the Empire State of Mind piece, we thought take a New York-centric song and make it 24-bit color. Originally, we found this artist whose name is Macy. Um, she creates these really cool musical posters um, that break the poster down by song note into rhythms. And so when you're looking at the piece, you're getting the rhythm of the piece visually. And as a final leg to the concept, we wanted to make sure that we paid homage to the neighborhood. So on the Murphy beds, this was inspired by the Chelsea neighborhood's LGBTQ community. It's sort of a play on the rainbow. As an homage, if you will, to Chelsea's rich art history and connection to the contemporary art world, we wanted to bring the gallery in and make guests feel like they are truly immersed in Chelsea's art district. Here at Indie Walls, we'll share the stories of some of the most ambitious commercial art installations around the U.S. We'll also take you behind the scenes and show you how that art is made. So if you like what you've seen, click below to subscribe.